Today, I am going to show you how to make fresh, spicy pickles. Okay, these are so good and so easy to make. No need to spend seven, eight bucks at the store for artisan pickles. So of course you need cucumbers to start out with because that is of course what a pickle naturally is, a cucumber. So get your cucumbers, farmer's market, your garden, whatever, store. Of course you're also gonna need these jars. Bowl jars are what we're gonna use for this application. Now you need to make a brine, first of all, okay? That is first and foremost. A brine consists of two cups of white vinegar, three cups of water, fourth cup pickling salt, and a fourth cup of sugar. Get that all simmering in a pot. And another pot, get those jars sanitizing, meaning boiling so they're safe to use. Now you can get really creative when you're making pickles, okay? You can use any sort of flavoring you want. We're using some coriander, some garlic, dill, fennel seeds, spicy peppers, a little bit of lemon in there. And really you can be as, like I said, as creative as you want. So also creativity comes with how you want the pickles to be. I'm making uh, little uh, cucumber chips, if you will. You can use spears, whatever your specific pickling pleasure is, but these are how my chips are. So I'm getting them stuffed into the this jar here, just like this. You know, get them, get them in there pretty good. Don't overdo it so they're like popping out, but you do want to stuff the jar uh, pretty good. Once you get all the uh, the cucumbers stuffed into that jar, then you're gonna put your other ingredients in, some garlic, just like that, and then some of our spices that we're gonna be adding in here as well, some dill. And don't be stingy on the dill or your spices in general. On top of that, some of the coriander seed, some of this uh, fennel, I just love the taste of fennel. So we're gonna add that in as well. On top of that, uh, some uh, spicy peppers, and these are dried, you can use fresh if you want, and also some uh, lemon wedge as well. Then we need to add the brine in on top of this. This is what's gonna help preserve it, conceal it. The acidity is gonna make it so it can actually sit in your fridge for a long time, or if you're canning it for a long time, it'll keep the seal and it will keep it safe. Uh, so we're gonna pretty much fill it up to about a quarter inch uh, before the top for this uh, to be filled. Once you got it filled, drop it into the hot water water bath, which is boiling water. You're gonna keep that underneath the water for about 15 minutes, okay? That's important, don't touch it. Leave it there for 15 minutes. That will seal the jars and keep your stuff safe. Take them out, let them sit, meaning don't touch. Don't touch for a couple days. And then as long as the seals haven't popped, you can uh, store them uh, at room temperature. If they popped, put them in the fridge. Just eat them in a couple months and you'll be good to go.